I am your host, Michael Yerby. It's another lovely day in Shreveport, Louisiana. We are five hours away from New Orleans, three hours away from Dallas, but I'm just one minute from getting in your butt if you haven't gotten up to start your day. Welcome to The Breakfast Boost. Good morning, Boosters. It's Michael Yerby, your go-to guy for kickstarting your day with a smile and some wisdom. Welcome to the Breakfast Boost Podcast. And if it's your first time, strap in for a journey to a brighter morning. You know, I was thinking this morning, if you feel anxiety, you're not alone. It's like my coffee machine. Sometimes it starts brewing before you even press the button. And I'm like, hey, coffee machine, I totally get it. We're both trying to get a head start on the day. I'll work on it. On a serious note, today we're diving into something we all face but seldom chat about, morning anxiety. That pesky feeling that sneaks up on us as soon as we open our eyes, whether it's racing against the clock or that swirling thoughts about the mountain of tasks that's waiting for you. We all bend. But here's the thing. Anxiety might be trying to empty today of a strength, but we're not going to let it win. We're going to tackle this head on with some simple yet powerful steps that calm our morning jitters. From mindful breathing that you can do before you get out of bed to evening routines that set up the stress-free morning or even some positive affirmation, get your day a sunny start. We got it all covered. Plus, we share some expert opinions and insights to understand why our mornings sometimes feel like a roller coaster. So stick around and let's transform those anxious mornings into a successful start. And hey, don't forget to share this episode with your pals who might also need a little boost. After all, sharing is caring, especially when it comes to conquering morning anxiety. Hey there, Boost Buddies. Michael here again. You know, I came across a quote that really hit home. It goes like this. Anxiety does not empty tomorrow of its sorrow, but only empties today of its strength. That's by Charles Spurgeon. Pretty deep, right? Let's unpack this together. Think of your anxiety like a backpack. Every worry, every stressful thought is like putting a heavy rock in that backpack. Now imagine carrying it all day. Exhausting, huh? Well, that's what anxiety does to our day. It fills us up with the weight of worries, leaving little room for the good stuff like joy, hope, and strength. But here's a twist. What if we started our day by taking out some of those rocks? A lighter backpack for the day sounds nice, doesn't it? That's what I'm aiming for. Let's not let our day get weighed down by the worries of tomorrow. Instead, let's fill today with what makes us strong, like hope, laughter, and of course, a good breakfast. It's all about starting our day free from the burdens of anxiety. Let's face it, we can't control everything. If anything, we can control how we start our day. And that's what we're focusing on in today's episode. Simple steps, big impact. So as you're listening, whether you're sipping your coffee or scrolling through social media, think about this. What rocks can you leave out your backpack today? Maybe it's not worrying about the email until you actually at work or not stressing about the entire week's task just yet. Remember, a lighter start to your day means a stronger you. And who knows, by sharing this wisdom on your socials, you might help a friend lighten their load too. Let's spread positivity one morning at a time. All right, boosters, let's dive into the heart of today's episode. We're talking about morning anxiety. You know, the fury of nerves and worry that hits you as soon as the alarm buzzes. But don't worry, we got some solid steps to help you start your day on a brighter note. First up, let's understand this morning anxiety thing. It's pretty common and there's no shame in it. It's like waking up on the wrong side of the bed, but your brain is always playing a movie of all the stuff you got to do. Sounds familiar? It's okay, we have all been there. Now, what triggers this? It could be anything, a big meeting, a pile of chores, or maybe just the thought of getting through another busy day. 
But here's the good news. We can manage this. And it starts the night before. Evening preparation is a game changer. Try this before you hit the hay. Take a few moments to jot down what's on your mind. Think of it as offloading your thoughts on paper. It clears your head so you're not trying to remember a million things as soon as you wake up. Next, we got a simple yet powerful tool. Mindful breathing. It's like mini breaks for your brain. Just take a deep breath in, hold it for a few seconds, then let it out slowly. Do this a few times, and it's like telling your body, hey, it's okay, we got this. And don't forget about positive affirmations. Those little pep talks you give to yourself. Something like, I'm calm and I'm ready for the day. Say it out loud or say it in your head and feel that positive vibe. We also have some insight from mental health professionals. They say that routine helps, like having a set time to wake up or a morning ritual. Whatever works for you could be stretching, making your bed, or brewing your favorite cup of coffee. These small actions signal to your brain that it's time to start your day, but in a calm, organized way. So there you have it. Evening prep, mindful breathing, positive affirmations, and a bit of routine. Simple steps that can pack a punch to keep morning anxiety at bay. Remember boosters, it's about starting the day on your terms, not anxieties. Try this out and let us know how it goes. Share your morning wins on social media and tag us. We'd love to see how you are transforming your mornings. Now it's time for our favorite part of the show, the boost of the day. This is where I give you something special to supercharge your morning. Today is all about the five-minute morning mindfulness practice. Trust me, it's a game changer. Let's do this together right now. If you can find a quiet spot, sitting comfortably, or if you're walking or standing, that's cool too. Just be present in the moment. Ready? Let's start with a deep breath in and slowly breathe out. As you breathe, let your shoulders drop. Feel any tension melt away. It's just you at this moment. If your mind starts to wander, it's okay. Just bring your focus back to your breath. In and out. Now imagine a warm, soothing light above your head. With each breath, let the light slowly move down, relaxing each part of your body. From your head, down to your neck, through your chest, all the way to your toes. Keep breathing. In with the calm, out with the stress. You're doing great. Just a couple more breaths. All right, slowly bring your focus back to where you are. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Gently open your eyes if they were closed. How do you feel? A bit more grounded? A bit more at peace? This boosters is the five minute morning mindfulness. It is simple quick, and you can do it anywhere. I challenge you to try this every morning for a week. See how it changes your start. Share your experience on social media, and don't forget to tag us. We'd love to hear your story. Remember, a calm mind is a strong mind, and you got this. One breath at a time. Well, Boosters, we're nearing the end of another episode. Time flies when you're having fun and learning, right? Let's do a quick recap of what we covered today. We kicked off with understanding what morning anxiety is all about. That nagging feeling that can sometimes take over as soon as you wake up. But guess what? We found out it's something that a lot of us face. And there are simple, effective ways to deal with it. From preparing the night before to clearing your mind, to practicing mindful breathing, to relaxing your body and thoughts. We also talked about positive affirmations, those little pep talks that set the tone for a positive day, and of course, a routine to ease into your morning. You remember our boost of the day? That five-minute morning mindful practice? It's a small step, but it can make a big difference. I'm looking forward to hearing how it works for you. 
So don't be shy. Share your experiences on social media with us. And hey, next week, we're diving into something deliciously important, the power of a healthy breakfast. We explore how what you eat in the morning can boost your mood and energy levels. Trust me, you wouldn't want to miss it. If today's episode helped bring a little calm to your morning, why not spread the love? Share it with your friends and let's help more people kickstart their day the right way. Your faithful support helps me to bring you more awesome and wonderful content. And don't forget to connect with us on Discord. The invite link is in the description for daily tips and updates. We love hearing from you and your insights and stories that make this community so special. Until next time, keep those positive vibes flowing. Here's to beating morning anxiety one day at a time. Take care and stay boosted. And that wraps up today's episode of The Breakfast Boost, folks. It's been a real treat sharing the tips and tricks with you all today to beat morning anxiety. If today's episode brought a bit of peace and positivity to your morning, why not spread the goodness? Share this episode with your friends, family, or anyone who could use a little boost. Your support means the world to us. It also helps keep this show growing. And remember, we're not just a podcast. We're a community. Connect with us on all your favorite social media platforms. Share your morning wins, your thoughts, and hey, even your breakfast snaps. We love seeing those. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on Spotify, YouTube, or Apple so that you never miss an episode. Your morning routine will thank you. I promise. Until next time, this is Michael Yerby reminding you that every morning is a chance for a new start. Keep smiling, keep shining, and let's beat morning anxiety together. Take care, boosters. See you in the next episode.